Are you joking right now? Ask this cow to leave. What is wrong with this thing? Why is it so rude? I can summon aliens. Can girl sims in The Sims 2 get pregnant from being abducted by aliens? Or do you need a mod to do it? Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't start gaze anymore. Okay. It sounds like something you need a mod for. Yeah. Because I mean, she can summon aliens, so it makes me wonder, you know. I mean, I guess while we're up, we'll just keep. Taking care of our needs. I know, it's not the greatest, but we gotta eat it up. Okay, and then, um, I think we could probably move her out after today, um, because today is last day for this family anyways. Oh my goodness. Um, have her move out and find a place for her and Martin to move into, and then when he's done in university on the next round, he'll just move in with her. And then we'll see them for the next round. All right, let's get him to the bathroom and we'll have him take a bath. And then I think I'm gonna have him do his college assignment. That sink is so loud. Do it in the bathroom? It's a real odd place to do it. Alright, Martin. You gotta go to class, buddy. Yeah, throw them homework down on the bathroom floor. Why don't you hire a repair technician? 
Nobody wants to hear that spraying all the time. Um, repairman. The police are just doing the rounds. Nice. All right, let's get her to stop this. Get up here to use this and take a bath. Okay. I'm literally going to the potty. Okay. She's coming right on in here. Alright, you're gonna clean the tub. Hello, Martin, you nerd. Welcome home. Huh. Ah. Hey, 
Alright, let's get him to write his term paper. Since he wants to do it, and he can afford it. What is she doing? Oh, she's singing. Her GPA, by the way, was a 3.2. That's not awful. She maximized her body skill now? Oh my goodness, that's too funny. Oh yeah, she really did. That's insane. So I'll have her move out tonight. Because she's going to have to move out before Martin anyways. I'll put her into the world. Uh, I'll have to play her for like two days. Um, next round. And then move Martin in. Because he'll be played... But if I leave her here, if I leave her here in the lot with him, the only good thing about that is then I wouldn't really have to play anything because she would literally be like an hour, have to move out an hour before him. So maybe I'll just leave her then. And since they're going to move in together, it would probably be just easier. What are you doing? Oh, this is daydreaming. Okay. Well, he's my main focus at the moment. You want to answer the phone? Then you probably could get some leftovers. Mm, no. Fortunately, he's busy at the moment. Writing a term paper. If we have enough time, I might finish off Martin's round here at university and just mark down that I only need to play them for two days next round, you know? So that's only if we have enough time to get through the rest of his days, which he has 55 hours. That way we could just be done with this um, household here because he would only have two days anyways left. And it would get them back into the Mega Hood as well. Well, it would get them into the Mega Hood. I guess they've never really been there, have they? <laughs> so it would be nice to just get them over there. So they can start mixing and mingling while we play the other households. <laughs> Alright, nice. And term paper done. Julio, let's go learn some fire prevention. First, I will let you go ahead and use the potty. Get some leftovers. And then I will let you learn some fire prevention. There we go. Fire safety. Where is she going? She wants to make out with him. 
For goodness sake, Allegra, he's busy. What's wrong with you? Wait, wait. But I wanted a kiss. I wanted a quick one. No. Go to the bathroom. He's busy. He's got he's got college. She doesn't, so. I mean he is ready to graduate anyways, but still. If he can take the advantage of learning just a, like a little bit more, he should, you know? Work on getting as many skill levels and as much as he can ahead, and then he won't have to worry about doing it later when he moves back to the Mega Hood, when he's working through a job. Um, and honestly, if these two actually do get married, they'll probably be pretty well off because they are both um, going to have graduated. So they'll both be making pretty good money from their careers. So I would consider these guys to be pretty darn lucky to have each other if they end up um, actually getting married. Now, they do have to wish to get married. None of them have since wished to do so. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it would be good for them to, to have each other with a degree. I think that would be a really good, like, fit for them so they could become more wealthy in their times. They'll have about, like, 42 days to get as much wealth as they pretty much can because I do have my lifespan extended. Which I, I really do like it because I feel like I can kind of get to know my Sims a little bit more with it extended the way I have it. It's just going to be nice to kind of have them um, out of college. One less college household that I have to play, which let's be honest, there's a lot of them. <laughs> but And there's always more because, you know, kids are always great aging up and moving out and going to college. So we always have more households to add to the university rotations. I feel like one day it's just going to like be a bajillion kids. <laughs> so that's why it's kind of nice to see one household at least move out of university because it opens us up for another sim to use. <laughs> How did this, this work out? Yeah. Where are you going? Alright, she's gonna take a bow bath. That's fine. When she's done, I will let her stargaze. Okay, cool. Now he's thinking about Jane again. Goodness, this man does not know what he wants. Since he came and made him do this, I will let him work out until he gets a point. But I'm not going to make him keep working out or anything. All right, why don't you come stargaze? She wants to dance with Martin. Gain a skill point. I should probably lock that one in. Because when she gets a job, she might have a skill point that she needs. A specific one she needs. Alright, I'm just going to let him work out once, not twice. And I'll let him do this until he possibly gets a thing or just stops. Um, he is going to need a bath. And probably some bedtime when he's done. And I think she's getting to the point where she's going to need to go to bed soon.
Nina. How's it going? Knees up, dead up. Speed them up a little bit. Alhamba. Thinking about stopping him at ten thirty. Oh, she got 500. Nice. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put that towards her college stuff. Um, I put it in her inventory. I didn't think she was going to make any money, so I didn't I didn't think anything of it. What? She has three? Is that what that says? Goodness. Oh, did she pick up the ones downstairs? She doesn't need those. Um, payback loans in hundreds. 500. Oh, not that. Okay, cool. So she got 500 to put towards her tuition now that she owes. All right, I'm going to have you go ahead and come up and go to bed. Honestly, I believe four Sims could really live in here. One, two beds in each room. Um, So if I wanted to move Sims in here, I could do up to four. Okay, so I still have 20 more minutes of stream. Um, add to funds. Every household gives you 100 simoleons. Use family funds. Okay, I will have to do that off stream. That is really time consuming to figure out who owes them literally 100 bucks. And I only do for the town because technically, if I did it for the whole entire mega hood, that'd be insane. Um, so we're going to play a little bit extra. Welcome back. Because I'm going to try and finish off Martin's round. So it's another like two days. Nice. Okay. Well, they are both up pretty much at the same time. So I'm going to let him go ahead and use the bathroom first. And I will let her go ahead and get some leftovers first. What does she want to do? See a shooting star. <laughs> go ahead and eat these. So these guys will be a little bit ahead in seasons and in days, but it's okay because then we'll just play them next round for only two days instead of four and we'll be all good because he has less than 48 hours. So it should be good. And then that way they'll be on, they'll be in sync and she literally only has to leave like an hour before he graduates pretty much or before his, his final exam. So. You just got the blind date one in the d summer dream household. You're going to let Peck Puck do that one. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I really do like that they, the little random occurrence scenario. I think it really does add to the game, honestly. Um, she really needs to go to the bathroom, so I'm hoping she can get in there. Four blind dates. Nice. Holy moly. Puck is going to have some options. <laughs> oh, there's Sam. That's one of our Sims. Sam Thomas. She's one of our Sims. All right. So her social's getting low. And we'll have to um, have her call up somebody on the phone if she can't talk to Martin today. Because he does seem like a busy, busy bee today. From the matchmaker. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully you'll get somebody really good. Yoga too. 
I wonder if they should be free, if you should allow yourself to give yourself the money. You want to serve food and talk about your hobby. Okay, we'll talk. Oh. Oh, you're going to view that. I was like, what are you doing? I was so confused for a second. All right, go play some games on the computer to get your fun up. He wants to talk about his hobby. I was going to have him do it with Allegra, but she has to go potty first. And he was in front of it upstairs, so she didn't get to it. Though she does really need social, so it would be great for them to socialize a bit. Yeah, he, she literally has one hour. She'll be leaving one hour before his final exam. Talk. Sh no, don't share your interests. I want you to talk about your hobby. In cuisine. It's the last day of winter here. It's looking all green grass again. Yeah, so anyone who's in college right now will owe these guys money. I'll have them send Martin 100 simoleons each. <laughs> Alright, now he wants to learn physiology and couples counseling. Nice. Okay, she still needs social, so... <laughs> Who's Merlin? I don't know. Why don't we let her chat with Carrie Beckett? Because they seem to be pretty good friends, right? So let's call up a sim on the phone and chat with uh, Curly Beckett. Or Carrie. Maybe Carrie. Carrie. Here she is. Let's just talk to her. Who's going to chat? She's our friend, so we're going to, you know, catch up with her, see what's been going down. Let her know that we graduated. Um, you know, tell her how it's going with Martin. <laughs> All of that good stuff. Talk about the rude cow. <laughs> about making money by finding stuff with the telescope. <laughs> She's got lots to talk about. <laughs> I don't know who got arrested, okay? I'm not, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Talking about moving back home. <laughs> Serving hamburgers to the cow. <laughs> She doesn't want to have a bad conversation with Martin. Oh, bless her. She literally wants to see a shooting star, which is interesting. This should really be boosting their friendship. Yeah, 100 over 89 now. Dang. Soon we're going to like her as much as we like Martin. Martin's class is done at noon. Oh, 
I wish they could find a job here, but they can't. <laughs> what is up with him and wanting to serve all this food lately? Wow, his GPA is way lower than hers is. Oh, wow, this is the last bowl of food. Okay, so we will have to serve some food then. So we'll have him serve up some dinner then. We're gonna serve up some lasagna. Yeah, she is getting it. <laughs> We're waiting for it to go like seven so she can go back out and mess around with the telescope. Oh no. Let's just order groceries because um the community time lot mod doesn't really work with university. <laughs> Making me sleep. Yeah, her singing is ridiculous. <laughs> Call for a delivery. Otherwise, I would have had them walk down and grab groceries, but we'll do it this way. We probably don't need that much, right? Because it's only like, what, a day or so? Let's just get like maybe 150 worth. Sorry, 164. That's good. Janagla. Like we don't need to fill the fridge, you know. Here, why don't you use the bathroom while you wait? Who's this? The professor is here. Professor, get out of here. We'll get Allegra to grab the groceries. Since she obviously has nothing to do other than listen to her <laughs> thing and be ridiculous. Accept the delivery. There we go. Cool. Grocery time. And now we'll have him serve the lasagna. Serve the lasagna. I was just going to tell her to go take a bath. But she's doing it on her own. He just got a, a point for cooking. Uh, 
Oh no. <laughs> he burnt it. Oops. Hope nobody minds. No, you don't need a plate, buddy. Go ahead and put it away. If these stay here, I'm going to laugh so hard when we come back. And these burnt lasagnas in the fridge. I'm going to laugh so darn hard. Study physiology. You burn it, you eat it. Mm. Alright. Well, Allegro could get some leftovers, though. Poor Allegra. I think she has to eat the lasagna too because I think it's all that's in there. Yep, the rest is breakfast foods. I mean, he really burnt it. That looks absolutely awful. I'm sorry. It looks awful. I really like my plates, by the way. <laughs> I think they're really pretty. She ate it. She loved it. Yeah, I'm really curious to know if this food will stay in the fridge. Because Martin is not a good cook. Even, I think he's like almost max, isn't he? He's literally at eight and he burnt the food. There's a lot to say about having breakfast for dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wants to reach cooking nine. I don't even know if I want you to back in the kitchen at this rate. You're an eight and you're burning food still. <laughs> Just a little bit over a day left. They're always getting it with this thing. Hopefully he doesn't decide to open a restaurant. Uh, he wants to be in the cult leader uh, job. It would be McBurnt Lasagna. <laughs> yeah. And she wants to be a media magnate. I don't think I have anyone in the career that he wants to go into, but I obviously do for Legos. I think he'll be my first uh, cult leader. Lifetime wish. Yeah, they'd be McRule. McCharcoal. <laughs> <laughs> they be eating McAsh. Because <laughs> all that would be left is the little crumbles of ash from the food when it was cooked. <laughs> Alright, so he needs to get the physiology skill. And once it hits seven, she wants to stargaze with the telescope and see a shooting star. Pretty sure you see this from the telescope. Your sim wants to see a shooting star. Now, seeing a shooting star is very rare, but to try, you must first click anywhere on the ground outside during nighttime and select stargaze. Okay, well, let's have her stargaze then. Um, 
I can't have her stargaze at night. Not like this. How do you have them stargaze? Can this professor go away? I don't know who he is or why he's here, but it's really annoying. How do I get her to stargaze? Oh, Anderson. I can do it with the telescope. McAsh. Mm. Is it because there's snow? All right, go into the phone. Oh, it's gone now. Mm, not really. He's studying. This lady keeps calling for Martin, and we keep saying he's not available. You'd think she'd get the hint. He's really trying to study the physiology. But it's getting late and he is getting tired and probably going to have to have him go to bed at a decent hour because he does have his um, final exams coming up a little bit over a day. Which means Allegra will be moving out in just about a day. So, yeah. She is obsessed. Obsessed. It's insane. Oh, my goodness. How close is he getting? All right, so probably when he's done with this, he's probably going straight to bed. Because it is getting late and he isn't going to have any time for anything else. So I am going to speed him up. Since we do have a whole other day to play through. And it's already 11. I'm just trying to speed through this moment while they're not really doing anything. Okay, just about a day. Allegra is off to take a bath. Okay, he learned how he learned everything he needed to know from that. Now he wants to learn how to make lasagna. He's upset that he f messed up the last one. So now he wants to retry. <laughs> He'll have to try again today. Later on. Allegra, I wish you had just went to bed. Like, honestly, you probably don't need a bath when you're just climbing into bed at this point. I am going to go ahead and save, though, because I haven't played for a while and haven't saved yet. And then we'll continue on for the last day of this college for the, well, it's the Bright household, but technically there is no Bright living here anymore. I think that was Jane's stat. I don't, why is it the Bright household? That's actually honestly weird because neither of them's last name is Bright. Anyways, alert the fire department. <laughs> Martin's going back in the kitchen. <laughs> Nick Ash is about to happen. <laughs> Okay, and it is officially spring, which means I need to just set this um, season length to seven days. Because that is where we're at. And that is exciting. So seven days left in spring now. There will be quite a few days left in spring when we leave here. Um, so whoever moves in here next will obviously have a house that's already in spring. Which will be nice. All right, let's get you to get some of the leftovers for breakfast today, guys. 
She now wants to buy an orchard tree. I mean, they both want to do that. So, and she wants to buy a garden plot. Is this them telling me they want to garden? I was trying to figure that out about the name. Yeah, I don't get it. Why is it bright? I'm confused. She's got 16 more hours with us and then she's out of here. Um, and he is just in the bath. He has 17 hours until his final exam. And then he will have graduated college as well. We will have graduated two sims today in the uh, stream, which is fantastic. Go ahead and you get some leftovers. Oh, I already told you to do that. Okay. Get some leftovers. Why is there still snow on the ground? It's least spring. Come on. Tired of seeing snow at this point. All right. I'm going to let you take a bath. Uh, she wants to buy an orchard tree. She also wants to do this. And she wants to get a skill point. I mean, I want to lock in all three, honestly. But I can't. What's more important? I don't know. We'll leave those, I guess. Unless he has the lasagna wish. So I could unlock it since he'll be making it today at some point. And hope that it doesn't go away. I know some people who play with like six six locks. Like that's too much. You weren't you weren't supposed to have six for a reason. <laughs> he wants us to do what? See rain. Okay. Um, snow is still here. It's still chilling with us. Hmm. This is all she wants to do with her time. I mean, whatever. If that's what you want to do, girl. If that's what you want to do. All right, let's watch some TV, get our fun up, because we are going to be probably having class here in a little bit. So this will be good before our last. This is his last day of classes. Because today is officially the day that he does his final exam. How insane. I feel like it's been forever that we've been playing these guys in university, and they're about to all be out of university and graduated at that. She's like, call me when I leave <laughs> for the one hour that we're apart. It's ridiculous. One hour. He'll literally be in his exam. He won't even recognize that she's gone. She'll be leaving when he's in, like, about, like, heading towards his exam. <laughs> so silly. All right. Martin is off to class. Like I decided she's going to watch a movie today. Nope. She decided against it, actually. <laughs> oh, nice. She's going to put books away. Maybe we get her to chat some with someone on the phone today. Who else does she have? Is she friends with that we could call? Let's see. Um... Ooh, she really hates Jane. Maybe we try and talk to Jane. Mm, I don't want to force that on her because she really is upset with her. So what about Robin Wade? Ugh. Let's just go call us him. Mmm, Robin. Let's talk to her. Alright, the maid is here to clean up. This will be the last time we pay a maid. Well, here anyways. Yeah. 
Oh, our bills came, so we'll have to pay those. All right, the maid has left. Who's that? Kitty? Okay. We'll have you get the mail. All right, so she's got 11 more hours. All right, let's get the bills paid. And I guess we'll just top off our hunger because she's about to leave in a few hours. I can't wait to see what Allegra looks like when she ages up because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really love her outfit that she's in right now. So... All right, let's have him serve up some lasagna. And I will lock this in, and hopefully he learns how to make lasagna properly. So let's go serve that. Probably should have the have Allegra on standby, just in case we need to call the fire department real quick. <laughs> oh, a coop noop. Come on, make it good, buddy. Make it good. They all need to start fire safety. I think they all have. Let's see. Oh, he hasn't. Um, she has, though. So, all good there. Bless you. He made it! There we go! All right! Look at that. That looks gross. That looks so good. I almost said gross. It looks actually really good. Makes me want lasagna. Lasagna. Looks really good. <laughs> he should take that in his pocket because I feel like food doesn't go bad in your pocket. He should put it in his pocket and take it home with him. When he goes back to the Mega Hood, I think I'm going to do it and put it in his pocket. <laughs> there you go. You worked really hard for that one. Did I change this last night? I feel like I didn't. <laughs> Alright, let's um have you use the potty. He still wants to see rain. Like, dude, I don't think rain is coming. I'm sorry I'm really sorry to tell you. You can go and watch on TV though. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have him go play video games on the computer. She's got a charisma or a creativity skill again. She's going to literally master all of her skills before she even leaves here at this point. All right, let's have you go to the bathroom as well. He wants to buy an orchard tree. She wants to also buy an orchard tree. Let's lock in the garden plot, though. <laughs> Literally snowing again. Alright, wash your hands. How many hours? Nine hours? Which means she is eight. Okay. I'll let her take another bath. 
Since she's like flaunting hearts at him. See you later. Here we go. That passed a little bit of time. Oh my goodness. It's broken again. Why don't you repair it? And then mop up the puddle. Gosh, she is just killing it. Alright, he is done having fun. I was hoping maybe they would like want to interact with each other if I just left them alone, but doesn't seem to be working like that. What's he doing? Daydreaming. And we have six hours and five until she's out of here. Nothing is going on. You want a last piece of that disgusting lasagna? Come and get it. Um, three hours. Okay. Which means he is just about four hours until he has a final exam. Last piece of burnt lasagna for Allegra. <laughs> we'll have her clean up a little bit too. That way it's nice and clean because once Morty's done, you know, we're going to be moving him out as well. So we'll have her make sure everything is nice and clean for the next people who move in. We'll even recycle this newspaper. We'll put away the book. We'll scrap the painting. Um, let's see. Is that it? That might be it. That's a little bit of stuff for her to get done. Get it all ready for the next, um, people. I feel like Allegra should take the telescope with her, though. Um, what do we feel about that? Or should we just let her buy a new? I'll let you take a nap until your time is ready to go. Alright, since you're just chilling, I'm going to let you start taking care of some of your needs. Why not? And then maybe if you have enough time, come grab um, some leftovers.
I'm feeling like it's got to be close. Yeah, one hour. Okay. Why don't you come answer the phone? Here she comes. Um, to see that. Got six minutes with them. No, he's about to go to his college stuff. She keeps calling for him. It's so annoying. All right, Martin. It's high time that Allegra get back to the real world. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's returning to the, <laughs> to the mega head. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? What is that? That is awful. I am sorry, but no. <laughs> that is awful. All right, so we're just waiting on Martin. All right, Martin. Yay, Martin! All right, so he is officially graduated, and he had a C plus. He got another five hundred. I'm gonna let him do the same. I'm just going to act like, you know, it's a normal time. We're just going to pay back the 300 on this. And then let's just put all the rest of this stuff in his inventory. So he's going to take this. I'm going to have him shut down the computer because it's only fair that they take it with them. Um, and I'm going to take their lot synchronizer with them. But before I do that, I actually want to set it one more day ahead. Because they are two days ahead. Um, so that makes sense that it would be two days ahead here. These things that they can rebuy. So it's not really a big deal for me. Like, you know, the lot, the lot stuff. Um, we do know that we only have... I think it should only be six days left in. Um, I think it's only six days left in this. Because it's one o'clock in the morning. So six days left in spring is what they'll be at when we, they move in. And I'm going to have him clean that up and then turn this off. And then we're going to have him move back to the, to the mega hood. All right. So we got to clean up our last plate here. And I'll be buying them a double bed at the place wherever they move to together. So... That's why I'm not worried about um, taking the beds and stuff with us. So I'm just going to leave the beds here for whoever moves in next. And I think I've got everything else. These I'm leaving because they're like duplicating. I don't know if anyone else has that issue, but for some reason my like stuff all duplicates when I um. When I have, like, the MP3 players and stuff, it all duplicates. It's so annoying. Okay, so that's all good. Um, I don't see anything else that we absolutely need to take with us. Um, it's just, like, the normal stuff. So everything should be good. Let's go ahead and have him call and move back to Mega Hood. So he's taking 693. I think she took some money as well. So when we combine them in a place together, they should have a little bit of money. It won't be too much. All right, Marty, here we go, buddy. It's time to move back to the home neighborhood. In the home neighborhood, you can move Martin to a new lot. Are you sure you want to say goodbye to college life forever? Yes. 
you I'm are. sure he's ready after he's now graduated. This is the last selectable sim to move out of this lot. Click yes to continue and move the sim from this lot and reset it. Click no to return to the college neighborhood without saving this lot. Yes. What? Oh my freaking goodness. These two look ridiculous. They look absolutely ridiculous. I absolutely hate these. These like outerwears. Everybody gets the chain mail. Everybody does. It's so silly. All right, so now we can go back out to the neighborhood, and yes, we want to save. Good job, Marty. So the last thing I'll do is I will just go and set them up in a lot for tonight, and then that will be it. Okay, so let's jump back to the mega hood. Um, what world do I want to put them in? Hmm. Good question. Well, there's Sim State, so I'll probably just put them in Pleasant View. Since this is kind of like my main hood. Um, so we just have these two. So how much do they have together? They have 493 and 693. So they have like almost 1,200. Hmm. Not very much. We're going to do Allegra first, of course. Um, I don't know if I can get a double bed in one of those rooms. Do we think we could? I feel like that's where they should move to. Because they are broke. living next to the brokes okay i think they need to move here so let's move her in and then we'll pop marty in with her and see how it goes this dress is not her oh boy Okay, I haven't played a sim in one of these in a long time. And of course, she's already jamming out when we get here. Okay, so she wants to be in the media magnate career. Um, so I'm not going to lock in the science one. She does want a couple of different things. Though, I don't think they're going to be able to buy those things if we live here. Uh, I think those things are going to be like unable to be accessed through this okay so she's gonna need to choose an apartment and I don't think anyone lives here anymore at the moment so they do have their choice of like an orange room a red room a yellow room or like a beige room what color is she wearing green and purple well that's none of those colors I guess we'll just take um any of them it doesn't really matter let's just take this room Let's rent this apartment for 200 and then we can move in Marty. <sighs> Come on, put that away. Yes, go ahead and sign. Did we get it? I'm assuming that we got it. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and go back out to the neighborhood real quick. Yeah, we'll save. Let's slap Morty in with, or Marty, Morty. What's his name? Martin. Marty. Jeez. Um, let's slap Marty in with her. Uh, we want to merge with an existing family with her. Merge. Would you like to combine? Yes. Okay, now we can go in here. I guess I should have done his, him first, so it would have been his last name for the family name, but 
I mean, it doesn't really matter. Probably better that it's not because we do have Joshua Rubin, and that could have gotten really confusing real quick. So this is probably good. There's Bella. <laughs> okay, these are our two Sims. They look ridiculous. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just get them the things that they need just for this. <laughs> They've got, he's got a serving platter. Um, all right. So they need a lot synchronizer, of course. Um, and then we just need a bed, which I do believe I can put a double bed in here. I just, if they were to have a kid real quick, we would not be able to afford much after that. Um, it's just, what colors do they like? Green and I don't even remember. I remember green. We're going to stick with green, I guess. Um, and then what else they need? They need a telephone. Uh, let's grab this one. Is there anything else that they really, really need? Oh, we need a day setter and like all of that too. Well, not a day setter, but a season thingy. Um, do they have all their traits that they can get? I wonder. We'll give them that. They need one of these to set the little, um, day. Here's a sim blender for them. And I think that might be it. Let's see. We need to set the season to season four. And the season length should be... I guess... I guess we're going to have to do seven. And I'll have to mark, make note that it should be five. It, like after I play a day with them. Um, let's get them both to go here so that I can, or at least one of them, so I can spawn the ACR adjuster. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're both running. Just go here. Alright, I am... Oh, for goodness sake. They're already at it. I hadn't even gotten time to spawn the adjuster. I wanted the fig tree. Alright, well. Um, is there anything else that I need for their lot? That I, I can't think of anything else. All right, so Bella lives here. Benjamin Long lives down there. And who lives down here? Backman? I don't know who that is. It literally starts instantly for them. It's This is silly. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is what I just said they shouldn't do. Thanks, Derek. I don't know what that means. Okay, um... I think they're all settled in then. I think that's all we had to do. He wants to literally be struck by lightning. It's insane. Uh, we'll have to get the paintings for these to get rid of those. And when we do play them again, they will be having their wedding. Uh, they'll be getting married. So that will be one of the first things that they do. Well, I guess, I don't know. He wants to have a party, but he doesn't have any wish to get married. So I guess we'll have to see how that goes for them. 
But yeah, I think that's going to do it. I'm just going to grab these few paintings of things that they wanted and while I do my outro. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the stream, definitely check out my um, YouTube channel where I post all of these up on my YouTube channel after I've done played them. Um, it does take me a little bit to get through them because I have so many to get through. Um, also, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to um, follow me over my Discord channel where I do post a um, about my series as well. I post photos and stuff over there. I haven't done it in a little while, but I will be getting back to it here in a little bit. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, I will be back on Wednesday with another stream and, um, we will be playing something. I don't know what we'll be playing, but we'll be playing something I'm sure that is Sims related. So if you like Sims 2 or 3 or 4, so definitely check that, that stream out. Um, thank you to everyone who is here tonight. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you guys all enjoyed. And I will talk to you guys in my next stream or video, whichever one comes first. Have a great night. Later. Mm -hmm.